everybody and welcome back to another masterful monday i am your host mr beverage that's right we're back with the final episode of masterful monday series two here we are with one of every master set ever printed we've got modern masters 2013 modern masters 2015 eternal masters modern masters 2017 iconic masters master 25 and ultimate masters so last week the winner was mr greg Lockton. Um, he contacted me shortly after and was like, I already won one, so give mine to the person who was closest next, which was Tim B. At his request, Tim B. specifically. So, uh, Tim, congratulations. Uh, those of you who don't know who Tim is, Tim is a great uh, supporter of the MTG community on Twitter and things like that. Um, he supports a lot of content creators um, with their content and that sort of stuff by shouting them out and basically participating in chat and live streams and things like that. He is a great, great member of this community. Thank you so much, Tim. You are well deserving of this win this week. So you asked for lineage tokens. Here we are. Let's open it up and see what you get. Something spicy, maybe. Let's find out. Well, it looks like you got an ooze token. Look at that ooze. A little hard to see it with because of the well, I guess you can see it better on the camera than I can see it here, which is good. Um, it's uh, pretty weird looking, actually. And you got a Thopter token. And an Elf Warrior. Foil Elf Warrior. Look at that. Shiny, shiny. Look at that foil. There it is. So there you go, Tim. Thank you so much for participating in the giveaway. I really appreciate it. I hope you enjoy those. Uh, if you're wondering what I'm talking about, well... There's no point in leaving a comment on this video voting for next week because this is the last week. But if you had been following along with the series, if you left a comment on the previous video, I have noted it down and I have written all of the names out and I have basically put together um, all the people who voted for what set. And so when we're going to open these packs up, we're going to open them up in order of the best value last week. Highest dollar value, I should say. Maybe not best value, but highest dollar value last week. Um, to lowest dollar value. And then whichever pack has the highest dollar value this week, someone from that list of people who voted for that set will be chosen to win another set of tokens, just like that. Um, and for those of you who are unaware of how I normally run these types of series, you might be familiar with my Masterpiece Monday, um, where I did the hunt for masterpieces from all of the lottery card sets. Um, we did sort of a tally up at the end of things and showed off, uh, who voted for what sets the most and all that kind of stuff. Yeah, we're doing that again. Surprise, surprise. So next week will be another video in this series, which will just be the sort of roundup. Um, it'll be the tallying of all of the points and all the dollar values and all that stuff. Cause it's going to take me a little while to compile all the data from all the spreadsheets I've made over the last 24 weeks. So I'll have to compile it all into one list and make it all into essentially, a you know, a comprehensive list of who's voted for what set and how many times and how many times did they win versus not win and all that kind of stuff. And I'm going to pick a few winners. Um, generally speaking, I'll pick a winner from each set. So like, essentially who voted for each set the most will probably win something. Don't know what that is going to be yet, but it will be something. Um, and then we'll probably do a few other prizes to some people who had like very weird or unique, uh, voting systems, something along those lines. Well, I'm going to figure it out, but there will be at least seven prizes handed out at the, at the next video, which will be next Monday. Uh, it will be like a sort of like the roundup. And then I'll show you also, of course, the spreadsheet showing the total values of each box and how each week did in dollar value. Um, I've color coded it all so that it all looks super nice and fancy. Um, it should be interesting to see. Anyway, let's get right into the cracking packs because it's been five minutes and I've just been rambling on about how the things go. Ultimate Masters was uh, the winner last week, which it came in hot at $16.25. That's right. 
just above MSRP for that Ultimate Masters pack. So Ultimate Masters this week gets open first. So of course we've got our token. Good old token. There it is. Then we've got our foil. Then we got our rare. Then we have three uncommons, which go to the back. Then we put the rare and then the foil, and then we flip it, and we'll take a look here. And then the commons in this set, I believe if I look correctly at what we have here, um, what have we got? Uh, let me close one of those just so that I can see commons. We only have Kodama's Reach, it looks like, uh, because Faithless Looting has, of course, dropped substantially. Um, nothing in the commons there for this pack. Uncommons, we have quite a few, like Eternal Witness, Lava Spike, Laboratory Maniac. Uh, Miss Vale Plains is not on the list, I don't believe. And neither is Plume Vale. And neither is Emancipation Angel. However, coming in hot on that last week, UMA delivering us a mythic Cavern of Souls. Well, I mean, they always tell you, never underestimate the last pack, right? That is a that is a spicy meatball. And one of the other things that we're going to do here, just so that you guys can all see what's going on, uh, we're going to go here like that. You should see a little white box pop up down there. Now, of course, in all the hubbub, it scanned it three times. So let's get rid of that. Ah, there we are. That's better, isn't it? Move that back over. So coming in hot at $66.72. Apologies there, everyone. Don't know how that happened. My setup here is normally in a pretty good shape where it doesn't tip off my desk randomly. So I'm not sure how that happened, but it did. Who knows? Who knows? This Walker of the Grove is the wrong set, so let's give that a quick change there. This should be Ultimate Masters, and it should be Foil. Boom. Done and done. All right. Whew. My goodness. Next pack. Hi second highest value last week was Modern Masters 2017. With a whopping total of $7. So, UMA was the only pack last week that came in with a pack higher than uh, MSRP. Oh, I should write the price down, too. What are we coming in at? 66 75 is what I'm going to put it at. I feel like an extra 25 cents if I bump it up to if I bump it up to 67 it's not going to change much. I don't think too many things are going to be chasing it. All right, let's see. So now we're in Modern Masters 2017. There is nothing in this uh common selection of cards that is worth anything. So I'm just pulling out the lands here in the common section just so that I can put them to the side so that they don't end up in my bulk pool. Because my bulk pool, for those of you who don't know, ends up being put into my patron grab bag box. Um, and I want to make sure that the cards you get are not, like, duds. Um, and I mean, like, of course, they're all going to be bulk. But the point is, is that they're at least playable as opposed to lands, which may not be. Uh, Crumbling Necropolis, not so much in the uncommon section uh, vanish into memory also not so much path to exile is a pretty heavy hitting uncommon though so there is that so let's see what we've got and our rare Ooh, hoo, hoo, another fetch land a lot of people were calling for this stuff so there is a path to exile wrong set but i don't think it's going to change too much in the way of the price let's just see here we've got modern masters yeah 925 and foil auger spree okay all right. Ooh, that's a tight race, isn't it? It sure is. Well, it's it's not that tight, but it's quite, like they gave it a run for its money, that's for sure. Augur Spree coming in with uh, five cents there, the wrong set. So let's change that up to this, and then uh, this is foil. Oh, God, they still haven't fixed this. Okay, so that puts that at what? Uh, 44 plus 9... 5343 is that what i'm seeing 5343 which puts it at 5350 look at that all right okay next up next up what's the next pack uh there was a tie between paper pack and masters 25 paper pack won the week before so let's open that up next All right, we got our token, which is just a garbage card. And then in the common slot in this set, we have a few things. 
We didn't need that one open, did we? Certainly did not. Okay, so then in the commons here, we're going to have just Wayfarer's Bobble and Gutshot. Let's take a quick peek. Nothing in there. In the uncommon slot, we have Eldrazi Temple, Expedition Map. I don't believe Artisan of Kozilek is on the list. No, nope. neither is Vengeful Rebirth, unfortunately. One of my new favorite arts, though, by Seb McKinnon. Uh, Simic Growth Chamber, not so much. And a Mystic Snake. Not gonna really, uh, not gonna really compete this week, I don't think. And a Dusk Mantle Bat Foil, which also not really gonna add too much uh, to this price range here. So that puts Modern Masters 2015, unfortunately, well out of the race at about 75 cents. Good old 75 cents. So next up, Masters 25. Well, Masters 25, you had every opportunity to win a week. This is probably not going to be your week. Probably not going to be your week. Um, I mean, you could you could have that Mana Drain or that Jason here, but like, it, it, you know. Okay, so we've got Arcane Denial. Uh, it's Counterspell, Relentless Rats, and Cultivate. And we don't see any of those. Okay, none of the commons. Uncommons. Of course, we've got Utopia Sprawl. And Simeon Spirit Guide and Lightning Bolt. But uh, Core Fire da Firewalker, not so much. Curiosity, also not so much. Quicksilver Dagger, not so much. And Magus of the Wheel is not a Jace. If that was a foil Jace behind, I would have been like, all right, well, I guess you win. Magus of the Wheel coming in at about two bucks. Showing it from the Commander Anthology, but, uh, you know, uh, we'll switch this to foil. I didn't even switch the other... I didn't switch the bat to foil because I know I know it doesn't really matter. Um, I will switch it. I'll switch it now. Let's let's pick this up here. This is foil. Close that. This is the wrong set. Okay, there we go. So, uh, Masters 25 coming in at a whopping dollar seventy five. Dollar seventy five, coming in hot. All right, next up, what was the next? EMA was next last week with five dollars and fifty cents. Sorry, the tie between those two was six dollars. Just so we're clear, EMA has a uh, counterspell. Is counterspell the only common in EMA that we need to worry about? I think it is. Oh no, we've got Knight's Whisper as well. Okay, Jungle Hollow not so much. Faithless Looting not so much. Okay, so those two go off to the side. Looks like we got a nice uncommon there though. We got Bloodbraid Elf, which is a good one. That comes in at a couple dollars. Right, buck seventy-five. All right, we dragonauts not so much. Ooh, blood artist also another good uncommon and duplicant as our rare. Well, uh, you know, and a foil rare, foil rare in the last pack of EMA, but it's glare of subdual, which is unfortunately not a huge dollar value. Twenty-nine cents in non-foil. Ooh, let's see what that foil brings in. Mmm, dollar sixty-four. Got there. Got there. Oh, that's not terrible. That pack was not terrible. So it comes in at what? Uh, two bucks, five bucks, six, seven, and then another dollar fifty ish approximately. So eight fifty somewhere in there. I'm just gonna round it to eight fifty just because that's easier for me. Uh, next up was Modern Masters 2013. I mean, Cavern of Souls is gonna be hard to beat, I think, this week. But let's see. And then in this, there is a bunch of commons in here, right? We've got Lava Spike, Street Wraith, uh, Spell Stutter Sprite, Kodama's Reach, uh, Stinkweed Imp, Raven's Crime. Logic Knot is close. Let's see. Does that come in at over a dollar? 85 cents. Not so much. Aether Spell Bomb, Pepper Smoke, none of those. Okay. And then in the uncommon slot, is Flicker Wisp still on here? I feel like it's not. It's yeah, it's just a little bit below. Vivid Crag, not so much. Crozen Grip is on there though at three dollars. And we got a mythic in the last pack here again. Crozen Grip coming in at three dollars and twenty, but we got Kiki Jiki, the mirror breaker. And we got a foil stink drinker daredevil. Kiki Jiki coming in hot at twelve dollars and eighty-three cents, which is not a terrible price. And we got a sweet giant warrior token. Alright. Not too shabby. Not too shabby. Let's see. What do we got here? 
All right. Iconic Masters is, is last. And by that, I mean we got to put the price in here. So that's what? 12.83 plus another 3.20. So that's uh, $15, $16. And then we got to change this stink drinker to the right set, which is this one. And it is foil. Not that it's going to change the price a whole heck of a lot. Oh, it gives an extra 25 cents, though. So. Extra 25 cents. All right. So 12, uh, 15, 16, 25. So 1625 for that set, which is not terrible because it's going to add up to our totals at the end of the day, right? So we want to see how many boxes we got that were over 300, right? And we want to see how many boxes actually broke even or not. Um, so we're missing Iconic Masters here. So let me just pull that up. Iconic Masters is last. And in the comments, I think we had like Mindstone and Star Compass. Yeah. Mindstone and Star Compass. None of those commons showing up in there. Viscopa Guild Mage, not so much. Mistress Bobble, though, is a heavy hitting uncommon for sure. What is that coming in at now? Like twelve bucks? Yeah. Twelve dollars. Pretty good. Puts it on puts it on the road for like third place. Condescend. And another mythic. Wow, we had a lot of mythics come out of this last week. Vorinclex, Voice of Hunger. There you go. So Vorinclex, Voice of Hunger, coming in hot at $16.17. We'll take it. And a Coordinated Assault Foil, which is not really going to be anything super interesting. Um, but hey, that puts it at, what, $28.25 approximately? Which is good enough to take third place. Twenty, Not 22, 28, right? Thought I said 28.25? Yeah, yeah. 28.25. Well, that pushes the Iconic Masters box almost to what you would pay to get a box of it total i mean we'll show i'll show the prices in the next video next week so we'll go over that next week uh for now we obviously know that uh uma was the winner so put that point up mr b you should see those points across the top of the screen let's increase the point value over here let's move that over there just so that's out of the way put the point up on uma uh, i think that makes uma the overall winner of the series is that correct we got one, two, three, four, five, one, one, two, three, four, five, one, two, three, four, five, one, two, three, four, five, six. Yeah, it puts UMA on top. UMA wins by one pack. But a very close run between UMA, Modern Masters 2017, and Modern Masters 2013. Masters 25 really let us down. Uh, you're all welcome that I took took this box off the market for everybody, I guess, because holy moly, was it a bad box. Uh, we The highest value card we got out of that box was $28. We got two cards at $28, and then everything else was lower than $20. Two cards over $20, everything else under $20. And most of the weeks, well under Oh no, I'm looking at the wrong, I'm even looking at the wrong one. Did we even get a single card over 20? No. No. We got literally no cards over $20 out of that uh, Masters 25 box. We had one card come in at 19, one pack come in at 19.25. And this is even just a card, right? It's just, it's pack value. My goodness. Anyway, we'll go over all of that stuff in the next video. Make sure you tune in next week to find out all of the breakdowns and everything. And also come back to see if you won anything extra. Who knows, right? I I got to tally up all the votes and stuff and see who won what. So we'll see how it goes. Anyway, let's clear this out of the way. I hope Mr. B put that point up there. And yes, I know. Look, look, I won't, not a monster, okay? I'm not a monster. This needs to be into a, a sleep, perfect fit. Right, and so does Cavern of Souls. I get it. Okay, look, I'm not a I'm not a total disaster of a magic collector and player and what have you. Okay, there. Okay, is everyone good? Foreign Clex doesn't need a sleeve. I know sixteen dollars is still a fair amount for a card, but I generally try to keep my cards within the uh, twenty dollar range. Anything over twenty generally gets it. So UMA was the winner this week. Let me mark that there, and uh, let's clear this out of the way, like so. All right, and uh, we'll be right back with the winners. Okay, and we're back with the uh, the winners of this week. We've got, of course, Tim. Tim, who uh, was given his tokens last week by Greg. So you two have both voted correctly again this week. There it is. We've also got Tom. And we've got Mr. F8, 
or F388, I should say. And we've got Dennis Fowler. We've got Corbin Card Games Corner. And we've got Veer Evel. Or Veervel. I I don't know if I put an extra E in your name when I wrote it the first time and then there's not actually an extra E. I don't know. It doesn't matter. You know who I'm talking about. You fine folks were the ones who voted correctly this week. Congratulations to all of you. Let's shuffle you up and find out who the lucky winner is this week. And then these stats will have to go into all of my other spreadsheets for next week. And that way I can determine who voted the most times for the correct set but didn't win anything. Things like that. You know, I'm trying to figure out some interesting things to do because I want to make sure that you guys out there, all of you who have voted countlessly over weeks and things, still get a chance to win something, which is pretty fun, right? Who doesn't like that? So, even odds, if we draw, roll an even number, we'll get rid of the even pile. If we roll an odd number, we'll get rid of the odd pile. That's how this works. We're going to roll a one, which means we're getting rid of this odd pile right here like that. Boom. It's gone. It's gone. Gone, gone. Okay. We're going to do it like this. Two and two. All right? Evens. Odds. If we roll an even number, we'll get rid of these two. If we roll an odd number, we'll get rid of these two. Ready? Odd. Even odd, right, is what I said? Yeah, okay. These two folks, right here. We've rolled two ones in a row. All right. Okay, even, odd. Okay. Whichever one we roll is the one that wins. You see how we did that? We got rid of the ones we rolled. Now we're going to get give the one who we roll to that person. So, evens, odds, a six. Even. So, unfortunately, it was not Virvel. You were close. But the winner is Mr. F8. Or F388, I should say. Mr. F388, congratulations. You are now the proud owner of some tokens. Either Lineage or Eternal. Your choice. Please let me know. There should be a splash screen coming up right around now. That should tell you uh, where to contact me at. If you don't see it then I obviously screwed up somewhere along the lines. Make sure you shoot me an email, let me know which tokens you want, and we will open them up for you in the next video where we do the recap of everything from this series. Thank you so much for everyone for watching. Don't forget to tune in next week to see if you are now a winner of something different. Maybe it'll be tokens, maybe it won't, maybe it'll be something better. Last time I gave away booster packs and things like that, so, you know, keep an eye out. Next week, we'll do the recap. We'll show off all the prices of all the sets and all that good stuff. Good stuff. Thank you so much for watching. I've been your host, Mr. Rivers. And as always, may your polls ever be better.